Okay, we check the float. It's okay, which is a usual case for these, and we'll put set the top on it, make sure nothing's binding, and get our screws started. The long ones go in around here. By the way, I meant to uh, remind you before you put the top on, check check to make sure your check ball and weight are still in there. Um, in case you turn the thing upside down, they fell out and you didn't notice. Uh, you want to do that. And also, when you're adjusting the, uh, or excuse me, if you have any uh, stumble when you press on the gas, uh, which is indicative of an accelerator pump, pump problem, and you've replaced the accelerator pump, then your metering rod adjustment uh, could be part of the problem there. So let's put the uh, idle mixture screw in. I buffed it out and uh, a lot of times when I buff it the, any uh, black marks are gone so I know if it's a black mark or, or a uh, worn groove in it. If it's got a worn groove replace it. And uh, here it is. So <clears throat> the directions say to uh, gently seat this and then turn out the number of turns you recorded when you uh, disassemble it which I usually don't do I just turn it out a couple of turns that's enough to get started and until you start it and can adjust it on the car um, all right so we got one linkage left the choke linkage here let's see this goes this way the clip goes on the top part I'll probably put the bottom on first let's see there goes in your fast idle cam which I got to move down to get this in here open the choke and get it all There we go. And uh, <clears throat> got this special clip we're going to use here. She stopped, nobody knows.
well, I'll find it, put it on, I'm not going to hold up the video for that. Anyway, put a clip in there. Um, <clears throat> you want to make sure that your choke is nice and loose and your piston moves up and down easy. And uh, you put a little spray lubricant in there. Help it out a little. You want to, you don't want anything binding when you put the choke on. Okay, so that's not going to stay on. But you seen how it went? Maybe you didn't. Let me do that one more time here. It goes down into the fast idle cam like that, and then uh, through the hole up here on top, just like that. Okay. So when the choke closes, the fast idle cam is going to push the accelerator out. All right, so there we go. Um, put this back on. Check my picture to see if it was the Phillips screw, which it is. Okay, I just had two. Oh, here it is. Now, I want to point out something on these YFAs. Um, they are terrible about uh, these clean-out plugs coming loose. So, when you get this thing started, see there's one there. These things will come loose and leak. Um, where's another one? So just be aware of that when you start it. Check them real close. Uh, if uh, if you get one that leaks, you can uh, try and pull it out and put some uh, um, uh, epoxy in it. Screws don't seem to be going all the way down for some reason. Okay. So all we have left now is the uh, choke. Okay, let's put the choke together. Put the gasket on there. Okay, so first thing you want to make sure of is that you got the throttle open air so it's not impeding um, the choke action here. And you just turn this counterclockwise and you can uh, line up with the index. And I usually do it by feel. It's always something you can go back and mess with if. Uh, if it doesn't start, let's see, what does it say in the directions if it says anything about that? 
course I never look at the directions okay well it just says rotate the choke and line it up with the reference mark okay big deal all right <clears throat> All right, so there we go. So as the choke heats up, right now, if you can see it, the fast idle uh, cam is, uh, you see how it's going to uh, change the speed. All right, so you're, uh, when you open it, the, it opens up the, uh, it moves the fast idle cam. Okay, now, uh, just to idle a little bit up I had it turned all the way out and these are okay so um, that is pretty much it I'll have this bracket put on with the solenoid I got it without the solenoid so not a big deal um, okay so you got a couple vacuum ports uh, come came with this uh, extra plug I'll stick it on there I don't know which one he's using Okay, so now there's several adjustments I'm not going to go through because they're very straightforward. There's, uh, besides the float and the metering rod, which we did, there's a, some of the choke, choke adjustments. Uh, um, there's a bold vent lever if you have that type. I believe that's on a little older YFA. Um, it, it, anyway, it shows the adjustments for that. Fast idle adjustment, the curb idle speed, etc., etc. So, but I'm not going to go through each one. It's just, it's too easy to, to look at the pictures and and do it. So that's it. Um, rotate this around. So uh, in case you have any questions about how things go. And that's it for the YFA at this point. So I'll have to test it and get her going. I appreciate you watching.